I'm Jeff Fritz with Soundstage.com, and I'm joined today by Edgar Kramer, the Editor-in-Chief of Soundstage Australia. Soundstage Australia is the first international Soundstage site, and Edgar has joined us today to tell us about it. Edgar, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Jeff, how are you? I'm doing terrific. Thanks for asking. So tell us a little bit about Soundstage Australia, a little bit about your background and how Soundstage Australia began. Sure. Um, I've been uh, reviewing professionally for 15, 20 years or so. Uh, and uh, I was the editor of Audio Satirica magazine and uh, reviews editor for Australian Hi Fire magazine, or print, print media mainly. Okay. And I've been speaking to Doug uh, just about a year prior to launching Soundstage Australia, we were in negotiations and, and just just talking about di doing this as a possibility. Um, so anyway, uh, 2017, we, we launched. Um, my circumstances at work changed anyway, and I was free to, to, to do this. So uh, 2017 was a big year, July, and it's it's just been so incredibly successful since 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 the since the launch um so uh yeah i'm, I'm very grateful to the readers to the supporters of australian uh or south state australia uh yeah well the site say? looks terrific I, I i love going to soundstage australia and reading the content particularly and so the readers know or the viewers know soundstage australia is operated by edgar 100 percent so i don't have any input on the content so the content that he generates for soundstage australia is unique to soundstage australia which means there are times when he'll review a product that you'll see on another soundstage site for instance and uh which which brings me to my next question and you know people love to hear about products i love to hear about products can you tell me about something that you've had in for review recently that has been super interesting to you and uh, perhaps sure. the readers of Soundstage Australia? Sure. Um, something that I had fairly recently, which absolutely blew me away in terms of being at the cutting edge of digital technology, but whilst playing CDs, um, is the Griffin Ethos, uh, the new Griffin ah. Ethos. It's it's incredible. It's not, not not only is it a thing of beauty, and and built to the highest standards, but it's the the performance is is incredible. So, old fashioned CD, not SACD, but with digital inputs, so it accepts computer audio and and so on. But the the the, the sound just once I heard it, I thought, well, I would love to own this. A little bit beyond my uh, <laughs> my reach at the moment. Uh, so I, I have to be happy with what I have, but it's it's an incredible player. Um, another uh, product that I have uh, at the moment is the new Yamaha turntable, the GT5000, oh. and that's that's a superb piece of kit, beautifully built again, um, and yeah, it's it's got lots of potential. I've only just uh, started with it, but um, great potential. Uh, for cutting edge for vinyl, yeah. Uh, now, Mark, you mentioned the, the Griffin Etho Ethos. That's an interesting product. I have a Griffin amplifier, an Essence stereo amplifier from the new Essence uh, line oh, yes. from Griffin. I have that that just arrived for review, and I just okay. talked to Rune Scov just a few days ago about that. But you've got one of the big uh, one of the big Griffin amplifiers in your listening room, I think. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, I have. I've got the Until the Nevo. Uh, which I love, uh, Class A uh, monster, uh, but typically Griffin, uh, superbly built, and uh, it performs. It just handles the speaker uh, tightly, super controlled, super dynamic, great bass performance. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a terrific product. Yeah, the Griffin Antillian Evo, I reviewed that product myself, and it is a, it is an awesome, and Would you know, agree that's an overused word, said. but... It is an awesome amplifier. I think it's 150 watts pure Class A, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. And, yeah. Oh man, yeah. it it really does grab hold of a a, a speaker system. And uh, yes. Yeah. No, that's terrific. Well, speaking just, of things that you have in your listening room or, or or what's or your listening room currently, 
I see that, uh, you know, I've seen the background in Soundstage Australia and, and other reviews that you've done, but I see that there's a new listening room uh, behind you there. What, what can you tell us sure. about your new room? Okay, yes, we, we, uh, three or four months ago, we moved, moved into this new house, and uh, uh, this is a dedicated room, uh, and it was basically just, a, just bare walls, uh, and it sounded bright. Yes, bright sounding room, great ingredients. So uh, concrete flooring, um, slightly lossy walls, so you, you, you know base can can breathe and expand, um, but bright. So anyway, uh, the solution for that was obviously to get acoustic treatment, which you can see in the background, and um, I, there was a two stage process of that. So I have um, some absorbers. I have diffusers, I have bass traps, and generally worked with a company called Radiant CV here in Australia who uh, helped me design the acoustic treatment for this room specifically. And um, it just now sounds neutral and it's conducive for reference level reviewing. So it's. Yeah, it's, I, I see it's on the front number. wall there you have a lot of diffusion and, and, and I have that in my listening room as well. It, it looks like yeah. a very well designed room from from what I can see you, from yes. the background behind you. So congratulations on that. That's terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. The diffusion was actually great for uh, stage depth. It just it just extends the, 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 the that front wall. Right. Great. It gives you that yeah. sound stage depth that you're looking for. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of a listening room, so, you know, you may have an example from your listening room or something else, but tell us about a recent listening experience that has really impressed you or touched you in some way. I know, sure. that, yeah. you know, everybody's been locked down, you know, for the past couple of months and, you know, I, you know, most audiophiles have used that time to get a little bit more listening in. So tell us about a recent listening experience that's been, you know, really special to you. Sure. Um, well, a, there was a couple of things, actually. Firstly, uh, uh, equipment based. Um, I had a Mark Levinson pre and power combo here, which were terrific products. And uh, although they sound different to what I have, still fantastic. And they, they, they gave me some insights into, into some of my music, which was uh, quite, uh, quite uh, enlightening. Um, I also rearranged my computer audio uh, system at the moment, and I'm, I'm using a, uh, uh, a music server from a company called 432 Evo, um, okay. and it's a Belgian company, yeah. And um, that has allowed me to um, discover lots of music through Rune and Tidal, um, and just the convenience of using it, and it actually sounds great so performance wise is fantastic and i have a friend of mine who's been sending me uh lots of prog rock files and i'm rediscovering that genre of music via, oh, nice. via this server and rune you know uh bands that i never heard before some fairly underground prog rock bands uh but uh great stuff you know and this is one of the things that um this music server is allowing this immediate um, selection of whatever music you're, you're into, you know, so. Yeah, yeah I think I'm music happy, discovery, that's, that's something that the streaming services, it's, it's just fantastic. You know, I don't think a week goes by that I don't, that I don't hear something or a new, a new band or a new track that just, you know, that's something that really sticks and it just expands your yeah. musical, your musical horizon so quickly. So yeah, that's, that's, that's of course. pretty cool. We we have to move beyond the you know the the the, uh, the show the show music you know and there's some great <laughs> artists that that you know there's great artists that uh, uh, tend to be used at shows to show off equipment but uh, it's not really the music I enjoy on a personal level um, even though I do use that sometimes to evaluate equipment because it's kind of a, a reference point but for my own personal enjoyment uh, yeah I have fairly wide music tastes. Quite, de quite apart from uh, the sort of music you hear at, uh, at shows. Same here, same here. Yeah, well, Edgar, yeah. Edgar, thanks so much for, for joining me today. And uh, for those of you Thank that, you. you know, I'm sure you caught it by now, but soundstageaustralia.com and check in on Edgar. Uh, I think you had, you update the site, is it is it on the 15th and the 1st, like the other soundstage sites? 
Yes, uh, that's uh, mainly for reviews, but I have uh, almost daily updates sometimes for news items. In other words, when new products are launched, especially in the Australian market, I, um, I uh, do news, news stories on those. Uh, and I have to say before we, 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 we finish is that I really want to thank uh, Doug uh, for his support and, 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 and you as well and as an as a editor-in-chief of the Soundstage Network um, and the readers, you know, and the supporters, my advertisers here in, uh, in Australia who support the site as well. Um, thanks thanks to, to everyone in general. Well, we, we appreciate everything you're doing and the site looks fantastic. The reviews are Thank great. You. And I'm always, it's, it's funny because I always know what's coming on the other Soundstage sites, but I don't own yours. So it gives me a site that I can go to and I'm constantly sure. surprised and impressed by something that I see or something that I read. So uh, congratulations again. And uh, Edgar, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Jeff.